Governor Dave Heidemann declared November Title IX month in Nebraska. Yeah, as many of you know, the law gives women student athletes equal rights. Our Lance Schwartz introduces us to a woman who knows all about the positive effects of Title IX. Lance? Thanks, guys. The day was June 23rd, 1972. Title IX became law in America. Rhonda Blanford was a speedy little nine-year-old growing up in Denver, and the timing couldn't have been better. Title IX was in full bloom as Rhonda became a track and field superstar at Nebraska in the early 80s. When you are a part of something special, the feelings that you get when you look at the, the posters and the record boards and the banners, um, it's just all good memories. While wearing a big red track uniform, Rhonda Blanford was an 18-time Big 8 champion. She's one of the most decorated Husker athletes of all time. And the beauty of it is, even after 30 years, her love of hurdling is still alive. Let's see it. Okay, I still got it. All right, here we go. Ready? Okay. This Denver native was an 11 time All American. Feel right. It does. You know what? My leg just does that. Rhonda remembers it well. Personally, Title IX means opportunities. When Rhonda arrived in Lincoln in the early 80s, women athletes at UNL were being treated just like the men. Whether it was training table or, uh, you know, cleaning of uniforms and, and, and all of those kinds of things. So I came in at a time where um, it was very uh, on, the, on the forefront of how Nebraska athletics was going to be run. Rhonda is now the new executive director of the Nebraska School Activities Association. How about the first state association ever in the nation to put a black woman in charge of it. I'm Rhonda sure. Blanford Green is a true pioneer for women's rights in Nebraska, as is her colleague Deborah Velder. Well, I've been with the Nebraska School Activities Association for 32 years. This Crete native is proud to say that Nebraska was ahead of its time in equal rights for females. This is exciting stuff. Tell me, can you remember May 15th of 71? Oh, I definitely can because I was in college at that time. And it was such an exciting time to have the first state track championships. That was more than a year before the federal Title IX law was enacted in 1972. We're very fortunate in Nebraska that our administrators were proactive in recognizing that these opportunities were important for all students and we were ready to go and offer all these opportunities for all the students. The public is welcome to attend the Title IX Proclamation Ceremony Wednesday morning at the State Capitol. Governor Heinemann's event will get underway at 10.30 a.m. And then coming up Thursday through Saturday, the NSAA will continue the Title IX celebration at the State Volleyball Championships in Grand Island. And prior to the Class B final on Saturday afternoon, a select group of honorees will be recognized in a special Title IX ceremony. What a great opportunity mm -hmm. to celebrate 40 years of female athletics in Nebraska. Certainly a woman paving the way back when there weren't very many women athletes. Absolutely. She is a pioneer. All right. Thank you so much, Lance. We'll update your forecast next. Stick around.